So you're gonna take your permit test. Well, you already know that here at Drivers at Direct, we have everything you need to help you pass your California driving permit test. In today's video, we're going to cover the top 20 hardest questions that may appear on your exam. Now, before we get started, I'm gonna recommend that you take your time with this video, okay? So write down what you need to, replay the video or a certain section if you need to, and then don't forget that it's okay to pause the video and take breaks as well. I know that preparing for a test can be a really stressful moment for some people, and if you're one of those people, don't worry. You're gonna be okay because we're here to help you. All right, you ready? Let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with the 20th hardest question and then work our way up from there, okay? Let's get started. Hardest question number 20. At an uncontrolled intersection where you cannot see cross traffic until you are just about to enter the intersection, the speed limit is A, 15 miles per hour, B, 25 miles per hour, or C, 20 miles per hour. The correct answer is A, 15 miles per hour. The speed limit for a blind intersection is 15 miles per hour. An intersection is considered blind if there are no stop signs at any corner and you cannot see for 100 feet in either direction during the last 100 feet before crossing. So trees, bushes, buildings, or parked cars at intersections can block your view to the side. If your view is blocked, just edge forward slowly until you can see. Question number 19. Even if you know your vehicle can maneuver a sharp curve at the legal speed limit, you should still slow down because A, there may be a stalled car or a collision ahead that you cannot see, B, you may legally drive below the speed limit on sharp curves, or C, the strong inward pull on your vehicle can be dangerous. The correct answer is A, there may be a stalled car or a collision ahead that you cannot see. You never know what is on the other side of a steep hill or a sharp curve, so you should just assume that there is another vehicle ahead that you can't see. When you come to a hill or a curve, make sure you slow down so you can stop for any hazard. And you should be going slowly enough so that you can come to that stop if it's needed. Question number 18, where should you stop your vehicle if there is no crosswalk or limit line? A, just past the corner, B, at the corner, or C, 20 feet before the corner. Correct answer is B, at the corner. Whenever you see a stop sign, stop before entering the crosswalk or at the white limit line, which is a white line painted on the street. If a crosswalk or limit line is not painted on the street, then just stop at the corner. Hardest question number 17. If you are towing another vehicle or trailer on a freeway with four lanes in your direction, you may travel in A, the far right lane only, B, either of the two right lanes, or C, any of the traffic lanes in your direction. Correct answer is B, either of the two right lanes. Whenever you tow a vehicle or trailer and no lanes are marked, and there are four lanes or more in your direction, then you may only drive in either of the two lanes closest to the right edge of the road. Hardest question number 16. A white painted curb means A, loading zone for freight or passengers, B, loading zone for passengers or mail only, or C, loading zone for freight only. Correct answer is B, loading zone for passengers or mail only. Painted colored curbs uh, have special parking rules. So white painted curbs allow vehicles to stop only long enough to pick up or drop off passengers or mail. Hardest question number 15. After passing a car, it is safe to return to your driving lane when A, the driver you just passed signals you to return to your lane, B, you signal for three seconds your intention to return to your lane, or C, you see the headlights of the past car in your rear view mirror. The correct answer is C, you see the headlights of the past car in your rear view mirror. Before you return to your driving lane after passing another vehicle, be sure you aren't dangerously close to the car you have just passed. And one way you can actually do this is to look for the car in your rear, rear view mirror. When you can see both headlights in that rear view mirror, you have enough room to return to your driving lane. Try to say rear view mirror three times fast. Five, I dare you, let's go. Hardest question number 14. If you are involved in a collision, you must exchange with the other persons involved your driver's license information and A, proof of insurance, B, proof of insurance and vehicle registration only, or C, proof of insurance, vehicle registration, and current address. The correct answer 
is C, proof of insurance, vehicle registration, and current address. If you're involved in an accident, you must stop and show your driver license, registration card, evidence of financial responsibility, and current address to the other driver or people involved or to any peace officer. Hardest question number 13. You see a pedestrian with a white cane at the corner ready to cross the street. The person takes a step back and pulls in his cane. You should A, stop your car a minimum of six feet from the crosswalk and wait for the person to cross the street. B, stop, proceed through the intersection, the person isn't ready to cross. Or C, honk your horn to let the person know when to cross the street. The correct answer for this one is B, stop, proceed through the intersection, the person isn't ready to cross. Don't wait too long for a blind pedestrian to cross the street. When a blind person pulls in their cane and steps away from the intersection, this gesture usually means for you to go. Now let's see hardest question number 12. You want to pass a bicyclist riding on the right edge of your lane. You A, must not squeeze past a bicyclist, B, may not pass the bicyclist for any reason, or C, must honk your horn before passing the bicyclist. The correct answer is A, must not squeeze past the bicyclist. Be patient when passing a bicyclist and pass on the left. Slow down and pass only when it is safe. Don't squeeze a bicyclist off the road and allow a safe clearance of at least three feet when passing a bicyclist. Hardest question number 11. You are driving on a road where the speed limit is 45 miles per hour. At the, all the other vehicles are driving 50 miles per hour or faster. You may legally drive A, 50 mph or faster, B, anywhere between 45 to 50 mph, or C, no faster than 45 mph. The correct answer is C, no faster than 45 mph. Driving faster than the posted speed limit or driving faster than safe for current conditions on any road is dangerous and illegal. High speed increases your stopping distance and the faster you go, the less time you have to avoid a hazard or collision. All right, we've made it to the top 10 hardest questions. About 50% of students answered these 10 questions wrong, so you will definitely want to pay extra close attention. Here we go. Hardest question number 10. Other drivers are not making room for you to merge onto a freeway with heavy traffic. If necessary, you may A, drive on the freeway shoulder until a gap appears, B, stop before merging with freeway traffic, or C, make room by forcing your way into a small gap. The correct answer is B, stop before merging with freeway traffic. Enter the freeway at or near the speed of traffic but be prepared to yield to oncoming traffic or to stop before merging until all traffic has cleared and you can merge safely. Question number nine. If you are caught driving with a blood alcohol concentration or BAC at or above the legal limit, A, you may be fined by the court, B, your breath test result by itself cannot be used to convict you, or C, your driver license will automatically be revoked. The correct answer is A, you may be fined by the court. The court can punish you for driving with a BAC above the legal limit. The court's action may involve payment of a fine, jail time, suspension, or revoking your driving privilege and completion of a DUI program. Hardest question number eight. On freezing wet days, which of the following roadways is most likely to hide spots of ice? A, roadways near the tops of hills, B, roadways on bridges and overpasses, or C, roadways paved with asphalt? correct answer is B, roadways on bridges and overpasses. Some road surfaces are more slippery than others when wet and freezing, and bridges and overpasses tend to be the ones that freeze before the rest of the road does. They can even have hidden spots of ice, so be very careful. Hardest question number seven. Parking is never permitted A, 20 feet from a railroad track, B, in a crosshatch diagonal pattern space, or C, on or in a bicycle lane unless otherwise posted? The correct answer is B in a crosshatch diagonal pattern space. It is unlawful for any person to park next to a parking space designated for disabled people that is marked by crosshatch lines and is thereby designated for the loading and unloading of vehicles parked in the staller space, i.e. the crosshatched area is reserved for use by disabled persons getting in and out of their vehicle. Hardest question number six. You are driving on a one-way street. You may turn left onto another one-way street 
A, only if a sign permits the turn, B, if traffic on the street is moving to the right, or C, if traffic on the street is moving to the left. Correct answer is C, if traffic on the street is moving to the left. You may turn left onto a left-moving one-way street if there is no sign to prohibit the turn. Start the turn from the far left lane. Watch for bicyclists between your vehicle and the curb because they can legally use the left turn lane for their left turns and turn into any lane that is safely open. Question number five, what is the difference between traffic lights with red arrows and those with solid red lights? A, red arrows are only used to stop traffic which is turning left. B, you cannot turn on a red arrow even if you stop first. Or C, red arrows are only used for protected turn lanes. Correct answer is B, you cannot turn on a red arrow even if you stop first. You can make a right turn against a solid red light after you stop and yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, and vehicles that are close enough to be a hazard unless there's a no turn on red sign that is posted. A red arrow light also means stop, but you can never turn against a red arrow. Instead, remain stopped until the green signal or green arrow appears. Hardest question number four. When is it legal to use a cell phone without a hands-free device while driving? A, when making a call while stopped at a red light, B, never, or C, when making a call for emergency assistance. The correct answer is C, when making a call for emergency assistance. With certain exceptions, you cannot use a cell phone while driving unless hands-free equipment is used. But because cell phones can be a big lifesaver in emergency situations, then you can totally use a cell phone without a hands-free device to call for emergency assistance. All right, hardest question number three. We're the top three, you guys. Which of these is a legal U-turn? A, 150 feet away from a hill or curve. B, on a highway where there is an opening for a turn. Or C, over two sets of double yellow lines in the roadway. The correct answer is B, on a highway where there is an opening for a turn. You can make a legal U-turn, one, across a double yellow line when it is safe and legal, two, in residential district, uh, if there are no vehicles approaching you within 200 feet and whenever a traffic sign protects you from approaching vehicles. Three, at an intersection on a green light or a green arrow unless a no U-turn sign is posted. And four, on a divided highway only if an opening is provided in the center divider. Hardest question number two. You are approaching an uncontrolled intersection. You, A, must always stop before driving through the intersection. B, should slow down and be ready to stop, or C, must yield the right of way to all other vehicles. Correct answer is B, should slow down and be ready to stop. At intersections without stop or yield signs, slow down and be ready to stop. Yield to traffic and pedestrians already in the intersection or just entering the intersection. Also, yield to the vehicle or bicycle that arrives first or to the vehicle or bicycle on your right if it reaches the intersection at the same time that you do. And now for the big finale, the absolute hardest question on the DMV written test according to our internal stats. Can you believe that 64% of teens get this question wrong? That's two out of every three students losing a point on their test. Fortunately, we've got the correct answer and you won't have to make the same mistake. The number one hardest question if there are two solid lines in the center of the roadway, you A, may cross the lines to turn left into a private driveway, B, on a two-lane one-way street, or C, should treat the lines as a solid wall and not cross for any reason. The correct answer is A, may cross the lines to turn left into a private driveway. Two solid yellow lines means no passing. Never drive to the left of these lines unless you are turning left at an intersection, turning into or out of a private road or driveway, in a carpool lane that has a designated entrance on the left, or instructed to drive on the other side of the road because your side is closed or blocked. So why do so many students get this question wrong? Because they confuse two solid lines with two sets of solid double yellow lines, which would actually be four solid lines or a double-double. While you can't ever cross over a set of double-double solid lines, you can cross over two single solid lines to turn left into a private driveway. Just remember to read each question carefully to avoid answering incorrectly and memorize this. You can cross over two solid lines to turn left into a private driveway. 
You know, I remember coming across a few of these questions when I took my test years ago. And back then, I didn't have videos like this one to help me when I was studying. So when I took the test and I came across questions I didn't understand, I just pick a random answer and then just hope that I pick the right one. Moral of the story, take advantage of the tools that you have now. If there's a question that you didn't fully understand, just let us know in the comment section below and we will get back to you. Plus, you can check out these permit test videos in the meantime, and you can also subscribe to our channel because we have more videos just like this one coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.